Okay. So here we are, we are back at the Elden Summit and we are trying to get the third sacred flame. Gosh, undead bats are a new thing. Get out of here, zombats. How are you guys not burning up down here? Okay, we have some stairs going down. Some stairs going up. Let's check the stairs going down first. So we have a gate with some water bulbs and a pressure plate. And we have a giant room with a see through floor with lava below. I could probably climb back up, right? We have a little thing to stand on here. Oh. Oh, ah, okay. Oh, the lava is a hand? And it's gonna follow me and that's what lifts me up. Like right. I'm all full on arrows. No calling for reinforcements. I'm just amazed that vines can grow here. What with it being so hot near all the lava. Vines that lead down there. Well, I guess it's my only real option. Big spot that does nothing. Okay. And we got a door. And now I'm trapped. No secret, I hate these Well, that went much better than it normally does. Fantastic, and we got a tail out of it. So I can backtrack now if I want to. Let's see. So it's hard to tell if those stairs up did anything because all we got was forward progress. new controllers. These things keep drifting on me. We got a new gate. We got another pressure switch. We got some frog. Oof. Good shot. Can't even be mad. Got some rupees up there. 
You know what? I think I can be mad at you. Let's get you out of the way. Let's get your buddy out of here, too. Let's just see what's up here. Rupee. Oh, we got some bombs? Okay. Alright, good deal. Took care of that guy. Oh, I need to take care of them too. But for now, let's see what is happening. Over here. Okay, and that just circles around. My bug friend is really useful. He is uh, probably one of my favorite little gadgets in this game. Snag that bomb. Bring it down over here. We're gonna say goodnight, guys. <laughs> Two for one. Uh, knock loose some water out of this plant. Now we've got a platform to travel on. Hey, it's supposed to travel! Okay. Well, that did not go as expected. Oh, I see some vines. That was my fault. Ugh. Get out of here. Alright, so we've got these vines. Looks like I'll be able to climb up. I think. Maybe. What I really need is to get over there. Well, let's just find out if it works. Let's give it a shot. If it doesn't work, we'll know. It doesn't work. I can't I can't jump farther to the left. This one here seems smaller than this one here. Would I be able to snag? Oh, no, cannot snag. Oh. Never pass up free rupees. Especially when you don't really know what to do next. And it's supposed... Oh, what if I uh, got the thing and I started... Nope. That was absolutely not what I was supposed to do. Hello! Inferno Gamer. I'm currently surrounded by an inferno. Got any tips? I don't think I'm actually supposed to be in this room.
there are very few English Zelda Skyward streams right now. I couldn't begin to tell you why. I love Legend of Zelda. I think more people should be playing it. Beetle. I had my beetle out for a while there too. Got some rupees. Dropped a bomb on some bokoblins. Just couldn't quite get past that. So I'm just backtracking just so I can get like a good feel for the area here. I'll go back, but I'm gonna I'm gonna get this rupee. Right. That's where I came from. Skyward Sword is real popular in Germany. I believe it. Makes me wonder why specifically Germany. problem again. We'll get through it. So here I've got... Oh, we had some rupees repopulate. Love it. Gamer, I am also a huge fan of Breath of the Wild. Uh, I think I played that game non-stop for like a good seven, eight months when I first got it. I don't know. It was, it was just a really, really long time. Um, and now with the Switch coming out, uh, it's my first Nintendo console. So I've been playing all of the the remakes, like Link's Awakening, Skyward Sword. Loved Link's Awakening, but I do think that Skyward Sword uh, is better right now. Uh, I've just been having an absolute blast. Those rocks do nothing. You notice the rock in the thing's mouth on the right? Oh yeah, that thing that I just... Um I just shot my beetle at. Beetle, uh, beetle didn't do a whole lot. Do I gotta... Ooh, can I throw a bomb? I can't throw a bomb that far. Uh, let me just try a ton of different stuff. Alright, arrow does nothing. Uh, I'm gonna willing to bet that it... Oh, grab the bomb with the beetle. Oh, I gotcha. Thanks, man. That is incredibly helpful. I do not know how long I would have been at that before I figured it out. Longer than I am willing to admit, I'm sure. I got my bomb. I'm sure that's not exactly what I was supposed to do. Give that one more go.
backseat policy. <laughs> Honestly, man, uh, I don't think I really have a backseat policy. Uh, I, I think you're one of the more active chatters or, or viewers that uh, I've, I've gotten, so I haven't really had to worry about um, telling people to to not backseat game, but I'm always up for hints, conversation, stuff like that. So, uh, I mean, chat away. Eliwick, that's what I said. It's interesting that it's all German, right? Or is like some of it like Austrian? Or just mainly German? And what's the, uh, like, why does Skyward Sword have such a big following in Germany, specifically? It's an interesting thought. Alright, we did it! Cyber 5, Inferno Gamer. We do not have a key, so we're gonna go through this door over here. Oh no! That Diglett's in trouble! I wouldn't mind a little hot bath for my sore shoulders, but this is too much. Another new guard? You can't break me with interrogations, son. You'll never make me talk. I'm not some sideshow for you to gawk at. Now get lost! You're having a bad day, man. I'm gonna... I'm gonna let you hang there for a bit. I'm gonna try and figure out what I gotta do. Will stepping on that hurt me? Probably. But for science, yeah, it hurts. Oh, hey, thanks, man. Yeah, no problem. Tune back in uh, whenever. You're more than welcome. Th thanks for being here, dude. Key. It will open a locked door. Oh, and I got a pile of dirt. I love piles of dirt. I can use my reverse vacuum on piles of dirt. Alright. Now I need to get out of this corner. Look, another pile of dirt. I'm assuming I can't just blow this away. Oh my goodness, you can. That was a that was a good little hint that the game gave you. Let's put some piles of dirt here and see if the player catches on. All right, now we have no hazards surrounding our running area. We have a small key. I I want to help this guy out. I wonder if I can like. No, he does not like that. All right get through here. Okay, we got... Uh, I don't know what these are. We got a, a digging hole. Oh, okay, so it hurts. Oh, it's more water. Am I inattentive, or do those just look different from the other ones. It's probably the former. I am probably just incredibly inattentive. All right. We've got a frog. We've got an ambush blob. We've got, we've got a frog to feed. We've got some water plants. We've got a new digging hole.
Ooh, we got a little chest. I love little chests. Rupees. Yes. Got it right. I don't know if I have enough room for a fairy, but let's... I don't have enough room for a fa I ran into a plant right after being fairy healed. Man, a lot happened up here. That was abrupt chaos. Alright. Alright, we got a chest. What's in the chest? This could be anything. Couldn't be just rupees. It could be a monster horn. I think I definitely would have preferred a claw. A monster claw. Okay. So now, the trick here is to get water into the frog's mouth. There's a hole in this statue thing, and that makes me think maybe I need to do something with that hole. But I'm gonna run some, some tests for science here real quick. Can my beetle grab one of these if I aim right at the red dot? No, it just falls immediately. Okay. So how about... Okay, so I, I, I know I need to get water in the frog's mouth. Water in the frog's mouth, that's the goal. I am surrounded, literally, by sharp, pointy water plants that drop from the sky when they are hit. I cannot pick them up because they are sharp. I cannot carry them with my beetle. I do not have a spare vial of water to throw. Oh! Hey! Okay! Cooking with fire, cooking with fire. So, what I did is I took out my sword and I stabbed at the plant. And now I have the water on the edge of my sword. And if I... Yeah, if I swing down... That, uh, that works. Um... The monster horn? Uh, what does the monster horn do? I don't know exactly what it does. You can use monster bits to upgrade equipment and items. So like shield and uh, my flying uh, beetle guy needed some stuff. Uh, the monster horn helps with some of those items. I'm not sure exactly which ones. Uh, but I do know that I need monster claws from like the bats. The bats drop monster claws, and some other enemy does. I don't remember which one, but they're hard to come by. They're not dropped very often at all. Uh, so I'm still on the hunt for those. Alright. Oh no! Okay, so here we are, we're... Oh, is it? No, this is another one. This is a different lava room? Yeah, this is the first one we were in. This is the new one. And it looks like we've got two platforms to jump onto. That one will take me up there. That one... 
can't really see exactly where it goes. So let's send out our recon beetle. This one, I should be able to jump like up here. And then I have another water plant up there. And then I just have two water plants up here. Okay. Um, let's, let's just hope for the best. I'm gonna hop on this one because it's closest. Oh! Oh! There's hands everywhere! Alright. Hoping for the best did not get us far. So if I stab... And then... Oh! I got rid of it. Stab. Wait for the hand. Okay, so that's not the name of the game. Unless I'm just doing it wrong. You know what I did is I swung sideways like that. I think I should have swiped downward with a downward slash to throw the water plant perfectly forward. Are you guys going to come get me? There you are. It just took you long enough. Alright, let's give it another go. Oh, I hit the B button again. Oops. There we go. Don't hit the B button. Don't put away the sword. Okay. I got one, and now he's a statue kind of thing. So I just gotta get the, uh, the other. Oh, they become... become non-statues very, very quickly. Can I carry two? Oh. All right, there we go. That was a perfect It's hard to target those hands that you can't be targeted. Let's just try and get... Nope, you cannot carry two. It'll get rid of one. Oh, you know what? I bet once I get one, I gotta... Yeah, there we go. I gotta shatter it. Now it probably won't be back. Oops. Not a thrust. Glad I didn't drop my my water plant when that thing hit me. All right. All right. Oh, cool. So you defeat the the lava hands, and the doors open back up. The lava goes away. I can go save this hanging diglet.
It's a weird trap to fall into, though. Got some digging holes. Oh, there's more digging holes over there. Hey, um... Hey, man. Hang tight. <laughs> stupid jokes are stupid. Oh, I can't get to him from... From here. No, that makes sense. Let's see. Um... Yeah, I don't know how to read a map. So we're just gonna... We're just... We're, I guess we're just gonna get them down from there. And I'm assuming that can be done by pulling this handy lever. No? Alright. We're gonna have to link Deanna Jones this. What's up, Diglett? <laughs> I'm saved! It's so weird seeing what's below your guys' chest. I don't know who you are or where you're from, but I owe you big time. Are you here looking for treasure too? Not necessarily. No point trying to hide it. There's only one reason you could have come so far into here. I can see it on your face. You're here because of the legend of the sleeping statue, right? Uh, oh, I heard about that. It's, um, there's two statues facing each other, and that's all I remember. The bearded diglet told us, uh, during the last session. Those are some busted old digging mitts. You can't go using them for treasure hunting. I got it. As thanks, I'm gonna give you a replacement pair from my secret stash. Don't you go nowhere. You brought the entire chest? All yours. They've been in a buried treasure chest, so they ain't dirty or nothing. Now these ain't the kind of thing that you can easily get your hands on anywhere, so take good care of them. Right then, I'm out of here. So long. Thanks, Diglett. Magma mitts. Even the magma don't see digging mitts with this fancy very often. Those are pretty cool. They don't just dig holes, they also let you burrow your way underground. Try to find holes that you can dig down into. That would explain the different size holes. See, like these holes here, not very big. This hole here, big. So we can burrow. Oh, we got rocks and hey pal, how are those mitts treating you? If you want to get a good look above ground, try pressing ZL and you see above ground. Don't go forgetting about it. Ah, that's pretty cool. How do I, uh, how do I turn? And can I attack boxes? Not really, no? No, boxes you can't get past, just, just the rocks and such. Now I'm pretty sure I don't want, oh, I do want to attack a bomb. Okay, cool. There's nothing over there, just rocks. And then there's this beam of light that shines down, and it's right beneath a hole, so we can emerge. Alright, and what this did is it opened us up into an area with more digging spots. That's cool. That's, that's a really cool little aspect of the game. I like that. 
Every, every time I think, how could they possibly make something more fresh and give it a new fun mechanic, they're like, ah, oh, how about you, how about you're a diglet yourself? Alright, two more digging spots. Oh, that one was a straight up digging spot. It was, it was a, it was a burrow. I can't attack that. This is interesting. What does... Oh, does that open the gate? It does open the gate. That's cool. stuff. Got some rupees and ore. We're gonna head through the gate. We got some stairs that lead to a door. That's not good. I do not like those guys. Let's take a look at where we are here. We are here. We need to find the key for this door. It would have to be over here somewhere, right? Like, where else could it possibly be? Yes, you guys have seen me. Take that. to get down there? Oh, butterflies! I do want to get down there because I collect bugs. And also there's a gossip stone right here. Is there not a gossip stone right here? Oh! Um, maybe a strike? Oh. That looks like a heart, right? It does! Okay, so why I did that is because in uh, my session yesterday, there was a gossip stone that said some walls, if you draw a symbol of love onto them or something like that, uh, then it will refill your health or something to that effect. Uh, it's definitely not verbatim, but I do not remember the exact words. All right. Stop drifting. Stop drift. Stop drift. Stop. Stop. There we go. Nope. Stop. Now holding my controller into the air. Alright, here we go. This is where we want to be, I think. Yes, this is where we want to be. Another one? Please tell me, you're, yeah, you're a different guy. I would have been so mad if it was the same Diglett getting caught in the exact same trap. But you have a hat. You've come up the, along at the right time, pal. I don't know who you are or where you're from, but what I need right now is for you to get me off of this chain. I'm just gonna stay silent. I'm not asking you to do it for nothing. Set me free and I'll tell you the big gigantic secret about this room. It's a secret about treasure. Well, twist my arm. 
Let's get you free. We got a digging hole here. Oh, it's a burrow hole! Right. Uh, okay, so there's a gate right here. There's another switch we'll probably want to hit. That gate moves, so now that's open, which is good. But it's blocking our way back to the surface. So, oh, there's uh, more down here. We've got more area down here. Cool. Bummer. It's another switch that we can't get to. Uh, I'm going to want to hit this switch again, because I think I hit this first and I really shouldn't have. We're going to come back down here. Now we can hit this one. It's going to move that gate. Now, if we hit the switch to the north, it'll close off that gate, but we can still get to our emergence point. Wrong way, and down, and over. And up. Okay, so what that did is that closed this gate on us here, but it opened this gate here, and it gives us access to this water plant. We can take this water plant, and we can hurl it at this frog. which will douse the fire, and now we can go break some vases, some, some vases, urns. And, oh, there's the switch. That is the sweet, sweet flavor of freedom. Thanks for taking the trouble to free me, sucker. You really think I would divulge super secret information about treasure? My mama didn't raise no patsy. I spent too long finding that info. Yeah! Karate! Those gloves are from my brother's secret collection. Are you friends with my brother or something? Yeah. That's right, bronzy. Wait, 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 wait. There's something I want to give you. I'll just go get it. Wait here. Is it bronzy or bronzy? Here, take this. This here's some super secret info that I put together. Took some real sweat and work too. I had to survey this place near a hundred times to figure it out. But you ready for this? Now don't go fainting when I tell you. Right around here there is a hidden room! <laughs> so in return, please don't tell anybody that I was captured, and it'll just be our little secret. Yeah, alright. Alright, go ahead and open her up. Don't forget our deal. Bye. Oh, hey man. <laughs> we meet again! Sorry, but I kind of happened to overhear that conversation. It seems one of my guys was giving you a hard time. Sorry about that. But that stuff he was saying was all true. There's a breeze coming from somewhere in this room. I tell you, I can smell it. I figure the information in that chest will be useful to you. All right, cool, thanks. It's a dungeon map.
which is definitely a thing that you find in every dungeon in this game, and for some reason I was like, oh, I bet it's a scroll. But no, it's a map. This room has a fake wall somewhere, and on the other side of that wall there's another room or so I hear. The ground underneath us is full of monsters, so we don't go tunneling too much down there, but if you're feeling adventurous, there just might be a hidden route. Alright. Pretty sure I broke that vase earlier, but I'm gonna break it again. Okay, so... Oh, it really is a hidden room directly off of that room. Can I burrow? Probably not. But can I burrow in this guy's spot? No. The answer is no. And there's no... There's no indication of a secret wall over here. So... I will need to... Burrow here. Down, going down. Hmm. So I've been underground. I've been underground. There's not a whole lot there. There's nothing there, except for those switches that move the gates. Uh, he's an interesting looking guy. Can he do that in the other Zelda games, bro? I mean, no, uh, I mean, maybe. Uh, this is the first one I've played where he can burrow. Um, so, maybe? Possibly? Maybe? I, I, I honestly don't know. There might be other games. It's hard to... It's hard to know, because in every Zelda game, you get, like, the, the staples, like the sword and the arrow and, um, and the bow and the shield, and then there's also, like, all of these other cool things that you could potentially have. Why do we have one up there? Hmm. Secret room off of this room. I need a key to get through there. I wish Inferno Gamer was back. Alright, so we're headed back underground. We're going to... Oh, this is a new... perspective. So I'm gonna hit... this... again. I'm gonna come back over here. And I'm gonna reset these gates. And I'm gonna see if that helps me up top at all. The emergence! can get into this little area is that's not a dig spot anymore oh boy okay If I play a little tune... Hmm. 
No, tunes do not help. Okay, all right. Hold on, we're, we're working through it, we're working through it. There is a secret door right here. But it's probably underground. So if I burrow, there's no way to go farther that way. There's no way to do it. Ooh. Packing boxes still does nothing. I am stumped. What if I... What if I left that switch closed, but I open this switch. It's not gonna do anything. It's, it's no help. Hmm. The only thing I can really think of is... There's not going to be any other dig spots, though. This is just grass. This room has a fake wall somewhere. And on the other side of that wall, there's another room or so I hear. The ground underneath is full of monsters. We don't go tunneling down there, but if you're feeling adventurous, there might be a hidden route. But nothing looks... Super suspicious, right? Like, that's not gonna do anything to that wall. Hidden route. Oh. Well, you know what? In the other games, the wall is like cracked or something. It gives you some indication that you can blow it up. This one did not. At all. Get that ruby. Oh, look at that thing. I'm gonna attack your butt. Oh, it's super effective. Ah. I'm gonna do it again. Oh, I'm too slow. <laughs> Got ya. Oh man, now I really am too slow. The, the smaller it gets, the faster it goes. And therefore, the more danger I am in. I can get up behind it. Not very well. I can't get up behind it very well. But if I'm fast enough, I can... No, oh, no, no, no. There we go, there we go. I emerge. Okay. 
All right. Figured it out. We got a chest. It's a key! Thank goodness, because that's what we're looking for. Well, that was horrible. Legolas ain't gonna save Noah Helms Deep with aiming like that. One more room over. We got the door with the lock. <laughs> this is a burrow hole. It's a good place to save the game. Let's get it done. Let's power through. Okay, here we are. That's where we need to be. There's probably a key in this chest. There's some other stuff up here. Let's see, we got these. These guys up here with their arrows. Oh, we got some toads. Let's go ahead. Let's expire them. I also uh, I want to expire these guys up here because they're going to be a problem at some point. And I think the first course of action is to just hop across it. I'm not going to ride it down the lava river yet. I'm going to hop across it. Fight off my ambushers, though not well. And uh, then we're gonna see what's up here. We've got some zombats. We've got a guy that thinks he's real cool with a sword, but he's not, and I just showed him. Monster claws! Monster claws! Give me some monster claws. Nope, just some rupees. I got one of those things. Cannot remember what those are. Okay, it's a gate that I'll need to figure out. This guy is puking some lava. Also a gate. Oh, a, a digging hole. So from here, oh, I'm gonna need to blow up that rock. All right, we've got a mogman down there for some reason. So busy, so busy, burning the midnight oil, looking for loot. Get that 
switch, open that gate, so now we'll be able to get past it. Oh, oh, he ran and he ran and he ran. Oh, bro, why'd you do that? Why, why'd you do that? The green monster. You look different from all the other diglets. I can't believe they're following us down here now. I guess I can have some fun with them bef for now, though. Oh, <laughs> you're on magma turf now, my friend. You must be. Or you may be scary, but as long as the way ahead of me is clear, you'll never catch me. Uh, well, I don't really know what that guy's going on about, but I do know that I need to blow up that rock. So it's blown up now. Hey. So what what was my goal here? open this gate again and see if that does anything. Supposed to hit him? I honestly have no idea. Like he's here for some reason, right? Just the question is what exactly? So if I hit this switch and then just completely ignore him. No, he's gonna hit the switch again. So I gotta take care of him before I can do what I need to do. faster than me so I can't catch up to him because he'll get spooked and keep running hey ah, I was so close to getting his little furry butt I don't, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I'm just gonna chase him for a bit, I guess. Oh, 
Oh! So close. Okay. Alright. Come on now. This is your idea of having fun with me? sure am I supposed to be funneling him somewhere because he's only sticking around like these four squares here right oh I almost got him it was like close but also not really If I had turned the corner a little faster. So what's the plan? I'm just gonna keep. Uh, I was gonna try and keep him in that corner. It didn't really work. Yeah, I got him! You got me, go on then, you monster. Boil me, bake me, do your worst. I feel bad for you, man. You got an unfortunate name. I know those gloves, those are from my brother's secret collection. Yeah. You know my brother? You're all green. I thought you were a monster. Don't get all angry. I thought you were one of them. Sorry, guy. Let me give you something to make up for it. Hang on there a sec. These are some generous diglets. Here you go. You know, some monsters seem to be looking for something on those cliffs ahead of us. If you're headed that way too, take care out there. Don't want to see you get skewered or nothing. I'm headed back to the boss's place. I'll open the door for you while I'm at it. See ya. Thank you, Diglett. I got a piece of heart. One down, three to go. I hate toads. What else we got? We got some zombats. And knock this plant down, because I think that's going to give us the platform we need. Yep, here it comes. And we're just gonna hop on over here. We've got a pressure plate here, and it's gonna open up a gate. Andy. And then we have a digging hole. Oh, it's a burrowing hole. Let's see, it's just right under the prayer beard. Stamina fruit down here for some reason. Or not. Oh, 
Oh! Oh, it's lava! Oh, no! This is not good. I thought that's what I was supposed to do. Maybe it was what I was supposed to do. But now I'm gonna die! Can I move any faster than this? Oh, I can! You, you, you can crawl so much faster. But I didn't do it in time. That would have made chasing down the diglet so much easier. Game over? Game over? Game over, man! Well, I think now is as good a time as any to uh, save. Yes, I would like to save. Yes, to this file, please. Saving in progress. Save. That was awful. Now I understand why there's stamina fruits. It's that you can constantly be crawling at a high pace like that. Right? Alright, we're gonna give it one more go. Before we do, is there anything? No, there's nothing interesting up there. No rupees or anything that we want. Hey, yeah! Yeah! Load up. Start backing up a little bit and get as much of a head start as possible. Crawling, 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 crawling for my life. I've never been so scared. I think I think we're I think we're in the clear now. Now we can emerge. And we've created lava flow. Good deal. And with lava flow, this platform made by this water plant will actually move. And we can make it over here. So we've got a bridge. Doesn't really look like it does anything. But before the bridge is a plaque, and the plaque says, the bridge of decision. Choose the path you believe in, move forward bravely. Well, I mean, that's it. That sounds irresponsible. Choose the path you believe in. Oh! Look, those are statues facing each other. Um, when you reach the statues facing each other, you gotta choose... Uh, you gotta choose... a side. Uh, the, it's the sleeping... It's the legend of the sleeping statue. Oh, man, um... So I think it would want to go left. I'm just exploring while I talk myself through it, but I can't open that gate. So, but that gate is on my left. Ooh, and this is the big door. picked up rupees, I'm all full. Uh, oh, you know what I do have? Fairy. Heal me, fairy. Now I will save. Now I will save. 
I was thinking about going and spending all of my rupees real fast at Skyloft, but I think I'm just gonna power through from here. Oh. I'm going left. I'm going left. Oh, yeah! No! I was on the edge! Why did I fall? I mean, I was right. We go left. Sailcloth. Oh, it's because it's like a magical slide type deal. And when I was on the edge, I just slid right off. Right, let's catch some butterflies. And we're going to play our... Tunes for the gossip. Oh, you are not a gossip stone. You are a wall that will heal me. I'm mostly healed right now, so I'm not gonna do that at the moment. I'm gonna wait for when I really need it. I hate these guys so much, so it turns out I will probably need it. I can't really see what's going on now. Can I not move? Can I not draw my sword right now? What's happening? I'm like poisoned. Guy to my right, you're in my way. Because I'm trying to destroy the guy on the left. Spiky lizards. They're so spiky. Well, that's where I came from, so I gotta go up here. Alright, and I got some stairs. Oh, I've got. Oh, it could be a wall. Could be a gossip stone. It's a wall. But you know what? I'm gonna, um... I'm gonna do it. Because I know where the other one is. Perfect. That is the most perfect heart that has ever been drawn. Do you think it gives you more hearts based on how well you draw your heart? Like, if you draw a horrible heart, you get one. But if you draw, like, a really, really good heart, it'll give you 12. Something like that. Alright, looks like we're headed up. over there. Looks like there might be a chest. There is a chest. What's in the chest? A monster horn. 
Still need those claws, though. the chest with the key. That's probably our exit door. We got a plaque. We got these rotating puzzle pieces. Bring light to each statue in accordance with the number of wings each possess it possesses from least to most. When light resides in each statue, the king's treasure shall be yours. Well, I'm sure it has something to do with this burrow hole right here, so let's get to burrowing. Alright, what's this? Okay, zero. One. Just drop my phone. Gonna blow those rocks up so we can get to two. Two. And then three. And four. That wasn't so hard, but I am concerned about the gigantic centipede monster. Yep. I do need to be concerned about the gigantic centipede monster. Bring me that tail, son. Hey ya! No. Oh, he's chasing me. He's chasing me. Oh. Oh boy. All right. Where'd he go? There he is. All right. Two down. I think I only got one more to go. Centipede monster. You ain't nothing. Now we can emerge victorious. And we can claim our king's treasure. Crystals! The Miss Mass is made up of faintly glowing square crystals. Several are missing. That's probably not good. Several are missing. Will it work on the door if several are missing? Or was it made specifically so that several would be missing? Open up this gate. 
just for kicks and giggles, we're gonna smash these vases. Fairy. Come here, fairy. Gotcha. Always good to keep a fairy on hand, and now I have two. What are you guys guarding? Anything, or are you just down there? All right. This is where we save. Ooh, let's, let's just see how this goes. So it needs to look like a, like a key. Oh, like that. Almost exactly like that. Like that right there. Yeah, so it looks like missing pieces don't actually matter, which is great. Keep dropping my phone. That's what the thud thud is. I don't know if that's coming across as audible. Okay. Oh no, there's gonna be a big old dungeon boss. Oh no, it's Emo Bowie. Ugh. Uh, what do you want, Emo Bowie? See, you're still among the living. Fancy meeting you here. It's it's not. You should know by now I just show up. We seem to bump into each other time and time again. Oh, it's no coincidence, though, is it? You and I were bound by a thread of fate. Yeah, we don't need to get poetic about it. Let's, let's just fight. Look at these drawings! I like to hang them on my refrigerator. Until I found these, I was upset about that little stunt the goddess's god dog pulled at the gate of time. What was that twig's name again? Imper? Well, never mind that, because these drawings suggest the existence of a second gate of time. This news has just filled my heart with rainbows. I've been a busy boy, searching here and there and everywhere for another g d Dude, don't vanish mid-monologue. That's so tacky. And yet I couldn't even find a single clue. Is that comfortable, sitting like that? Since I know I can be honest with you, I'll admit I got a little sulky. It was frowns all around. Well, we can't all be mature. I hate this guy so much. The thought of never getting my hands on that darling young girl again was... You are disgusting. Then I found this place. Positively giggly. I, can we be? Can we fight? Can we fight? I don't. That girl, your adorable friend, she will become instrumental in bringing about the revival of my master. And though I feared she was now quite beyond my reach, I despair no longer. And as I continue to regurgitate exposition to move along the plot of the game, you become increasingly annoyed with me and my stupid outfits. But before we talk any further on the subject, there's still the outstanding matter of your punishment, Link. Do you remember when I told you that the next time we met I'd make your ears bleed from the sound of your own screams? Well, I've been thinking perhaps corporeal punishment is a touch harsh. I might be willing to forgive and forget if you'll strike a deal. I'm not gonna be your weird little boy toy. 
Tell me where I can find the other gate of time. And don't play coy with me. I know you know. So why not let me in on the fun? <laughs> Probably because I haven't spoken this entire game. A mischievous boy like you needs to be dealt with firmly. I must warn you, I won't go easy on you this time. <laughs> Lovely, aren't they? You'll find the supple skin of my arms tougher than any armor. Well, then it's not supple, is it? Doesn't their shape just leave you breathless? Behold! Such beauty! Such poor, pure form! It's poor form. Let's let's be honest. You're you're a real weirdo. I've pretty much got it all, though there is one teensy tiny thing I lack. Mercy! Put your tongue back in your mouth, weirdo. We're bound together by that thread of fi Yeah, you mentioned that. You could have just said, let's fight. After the first time you said it, we would have saved so much talking. The thread of fi that bind will be so in crimson with your blood. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm pretty sure I heard that the first two times I fought you, too. Alright, why do you have flying knives? Can I block your knives? Yeah, I can. Deflection. So it doesn't matter, like, really which way I strike at you. You're gonna block my sword anyway. So I'm just gonna deflect. Like, I'm wondering if, like, maybe a bomb will do anything. I gotta get him back toward the bomb, I guess. Let go of my sword. Alright, let's try bow and arrow. All right, bow and arrow doesn't work. Maybe I can get close to him. Nope, he's gonna dodge that too. So I know I can take out his knives, like that. Nope, not like that. That was a horrible idea. Get off of me! I don't think I have any other gadgets to really use on him, except maybe I can try the whip. The whip does nothing. Okay, so if I get rid of the knives... Look, let's try it again. If I get rid of the knives... Look, let's try it again. If I get rid of the knives... Just let me get rid of your knives. 
And then, one, so yeah, you have to destroy his knives first. And, and then you can kind of attack him. Two swords? yourself open. You're not as cool as you think you are. Deflection. Deflection. Should have seen that one come. Come on, man. Bring it on. I don't know how to defend against that. How many times do I have to hit you before you're like, oh man, I guess I shouldn't be here. so weird to lick your sword. We got two fairies. I'm not super concerned. Yeah! Take that, Emo Bowie. My stream is almost done. The Demon Lord. Well, you just got beat by a kid. Just a human child, and yet you prevail. You filthy scamp! You've awakened a wrath that will burn for eons. I swear to you, whatever it takes, I will have a longer monologue than any other monologue that's ever monologued in the history of video game monologues. And it will be an eternity of torment <laughs> for the listener. Cool story, bro. Oh, art canister. Forgot that those happen. Fully replenished. And one more heart. Ba ding Alright, let's finish this up. Let's clear this volcano summit. Head back to Skyloft and call it a day. Fire Sanctuary. Launch a skyward strike at that emblem. Fi is gonna show up here in a moment. Red fire. It's actually the color that fire is supposed to be. Although that's much more red. There's Fi. Fi is gonna do some talking. 
talking that we don't really hear or enjoy hearing, but she's going to do it anyway. It's just what she does. Yep, she's going to bounce off the walls. This seems familiar. She's going to shoot some fire at my sword. Yeah. <laughs> the flames of Din have imbued your blade with a sacred white light that demons revile. Well, I could have used that in the last fight. There's a third triangle on it. What's up, Fi? Now that it has been tempered by the last of the sacred flames, your blade has finally revealed its true form. You now hold the master sword. With this sword's great power, you can awaken the gate of time within the sealed temple. I recommend you make your way to this location. Okie dokie. Good deal, prayer bird. Man, we got a lot done today. How awesome. And yes, we are going to end it here. We've gone a little over an hour and a half, which is great. We have a fully upgraded sword, which is awesome. We've learned how to burrow, and that's just fun. I had a blast doing that. Thank you guys for tuning in to the, uh, to the stream. I really appreciate it. I've been Faceless Faceless, that's my name, I don't have a face. I'll see you next time, and we will continue to get casual. <laughs>